Hey, are you looking for things to do in Alberta? Well, let me take you to the Gopher Hole Museum, where they redefine bat crazy to gopher crazy. Located approximately an hour and a half from the center of Calgary, the Gopher Hole Museum is a good day trip from Calgary, whether you live in town or are from out of town. If you are visiting Calgary and came here via the airport, you will need to have rented a car, as there is no other way of getting to Torrington, the hamlet of which the museum is located. In the hyperlapse video in the background, I took the slightly longer route of Highway 9, which turns into 806. You can take the more direct route of Highway 2, but I think the Highway 9 route is a little more relaxed and a little more scenic. Additionally, the Highway 2, aka the QE2, is prone to congestion, has many accidents every year, and the chance of you hitting a speed trap is pretty high. Plus, the Highway 9 route only has about 10 to 15 minutes, but the choice is yours. If your idea of fun is quirky or weird, then I don't think you are going to find anything quite like the Gopher Hole Museum. Taxidermy gophers dressed up in costumes and put on display in dioramas. Every gopher on display has a little bit of the town history sprinkled into its weirdness. From the town bank to a fashion show, there's something fun in every display. At $2 for adults and 50 cents for kids, a family of four can enter for just $5. There are not many things you can do today that are $5 just for one person, let alone the entire family. The museum itself is not very big, so don't expect endless hours of entertainment. But, depending on your attention span and your appreciation for finer details, you could spend anywhere from 15 minutes to about an hour. So pairing this activity with something else is highly recommended. There are only two restaurants in Torrington, a Taste of Ukraine and a Pizza and More E. Both have high ratings on Google. Larger towns such as Old to the West and Three Hills to the East are within about a half hour drive. And the cities of Drumheller and Red Deer are about an hour away. There is also the Badlands Provincial Park just over a half hour away. Or you could just have a picnic right there in Torrington. Once inside the building, you are greeted by a charming lady at the till. She will show you the front where there is a giant world map and you can put a pin in it if you are from out of town, but also if you could find a spot because there are so many pins in that map. She will also tell you about the rare gophers they have on display, such as the two black gophers and their striped squirrel. Also, they proudly display the book of the hate mail they've received over the years, as well as the various positive and negative newspaper articles. Additionally, she boasts unapologetically how much their numbers jump every time an animal rights group protests. They also have a variety of handmade items in their gift shop, which are quite reasonably priced. There are just over 40 dioramas on display, and the level of detail in each one ranges from wow, this is incredible, to oh my god, how many drugs were these people on when they thought of this? All of them. All of the drugs. And now here are some of the displays, but I won't show you them all because there are just too many of them and I don't want to spoil the surprise. I really hope you found this video interesting. If you do, please like and subscribe while you're at it. If you like what you see here, you will like what you read in my blog at theglobetrevor.com. And please do visit the Gopher Hope Museum in Alberta. I think you will find it very interesting, as just as we did. Thank you for watching. This has been the Globe Trevor.